The world of work is rapidly changing. Jobs that were once done by humans can now be done by computers. And it is not just manual labor jobs that are affected. The increasing sophistication of artificial intelligence means that even high-level knowledge workers' jobs are under threat. We are already beginning to see the effects. In a recent survey of over 2,000 professionals conducted by HBR, 52 persons reported feeling threatened by automation, even though only 13 persons said they had been replaced so far, and 33 persons said their job was at risk within 5 years from now. In this video, we will explore what the future might look like when robots take over our workplaces, how AI could change society as a whole, and what we can do about it if anything. What is Artificial Intelligence? Artificial Intelligence is intelligence exhibited by either a machine or a software application. AI has been around for quite some time but only in the last few decades has it advanced to the point where some machines can outstrip the general human population in certain tasks such as chess playing and basic arithmetic. Even though the field of artificial intelligence is just now entering its third generation, it is still very much an emerging field with many outstanding problems that need solving for any sort of generalized artificial intelligence to be feasible. The term artificial intelligence was coined by John McCarthy at a conference on the subject in 1956. The following year, both Norbert Wiener the mathematician who had coined the term cybernetics and Marvin Minsky agreed that the field of artificial intelligence needed to be formally defined and pursued. But it wasn't until 1958 that a conference was held at Dartmouth College for the purpose of doing just that. By 1960, Marvin Minsky had created the first artificial neural network which he called Stockholm for stochastic network. The following year saw the creation of two more neural networks, one by Ronald G. Frank and the other by A. M. Terrell. By 1962, Frank had created the first robot able to visually respond to its environment, a mechanical idiot that could drive around on its own for up to five minutes before crashing into something. But despite all this progress, it wasn't until the decade of the 1970s that neurally networked machines achieved any sort of success in terms of independent operation and control. Perhaps the most famous result from this period is Shaky, a robot created by SRI International with vision systems that could teach itself how to navigate through an environment built for human use. It had the ability to perceive its surroundings and respond accordingly based on sensory input. Unfortunately, Shaky was never utilized in any real-world experiments and is currently sitting outside in a museum. It is a shame because this robot could have been developed into one that could really do some work not that I'm against robots doing manual labor, just using that as a metaphor. After all, there are plenty of people out there who are too lazy to do the work themselves. But perhaps the most famous product of this period was the Pioneer automated nuclear plant, designed by General Electric and stuffed almost entirely by robots. What made these robots so revolutionary wasn't just their ability to perform certain tasks more efficiently than humans, such as maintaining the power plant's temperature, but also their ability to cooperate with each other. Since then, we have seen significant progress towards perfecting both software and hardware in artificial intelligence. However, there is still much work to be done. Currently, artificial intelligence possesses the ability to perform only very specific tasks and is not yet able to engage in more complex tasks that are often handled by humans, such as communication and reasoning. 
This can be seen with Apple's Siri, for example, which was completely incapable of dealing with any sort of real-world situation, but instead forced the woman who created the first query for Siri to use a workaround that would provide a more generic response. Still, with the rise of the internet and computerized systems, we are starting to see more artificial intelligence being implemented on machines around us. Most notably, self-driving cars have become much better at navigating streets and avoiding pedestrians, though they still have some problems. The biggest issue with using artificial intelligence in this way is that we are really just using it as a crutch for humans' shortcomings. Artificial intelligence may be getting more popular, but its use isn't due to an increase in the need for machine capable of performing complex tasks like reasoning and communication. Instead, it's being used to fill in the gaps that were previously handled by humans. Artificial intelligence is becoming more popular not because it is useful, but because it can help us get away with doing things we aren't capable of without its existence. And as artificial intelligence becomes even better at replacing human tasks and jobs, what will happen to all the people who have been displaced? How does AI affect the workplace and society as a whole? AI has had a large impact on the workplace and society as a whole. AI is integrated into many aspects of the current world. AI does not just affect the workplace, but society in general. AI's influence ranges from insignificant to transforming. However, it would not be too far off to say that it would take over tasks that humans currently do. One should think about how work will be transformed by this change. There are some people who believe that this is positive because they believe people will have more time to enjoy their lives and others have concerns about how society as a whole will fare with such disruption. For example, how will people receiving an income? What type of jobs might be available for them? Will there still be enough jobs to keep people employed? If not, will there be an increase in wage to compensate for this? A lot of jobs that we know today are likely to disappear or change dramatically. Some jobs might even cease to exist. New ones might appear but the format could be totally different and it is possible that they will require higher education levels. Reskilling will enable the workers of tomorrow to be retrained for the jobs of tomorrow. How do we prepare citizens today so that they might continue to perform and succeed in their careers? One of the most talked about figures is that 47% of jobs will be lost due to AI. This figure has been disputed but it still brings to light the fact that many jobs can be automated which would disrupt society. It depends on what level the job operates at. So some jobs could still exist while others might disappear for good. What will happen to humans when robots take all our jobs? The future of work is an interesting topic. There is a lot of speculation about what will happen. But the reality is that we don't know. Experts are all over the map with their predictions and it is impossible to predict how this change will affect the economy or society as a whole. One thing that is certain, there will be fewer jobs for people in the future due to automation. It is possible that companies might depend on AI more than humans, meaning less jobs for humans but an increase in income for those who continue working. Some experts have predicted that there will be an increase in ways to compensate for less jobs available and that AI would take over tasks currently done by humans. It is up to each individual to decide how they want to deal with this change. What is certain is that jobs will be transformed by AI in the future the businesses are just now starting to incorporate it. 
it is impossible to predict how fast this will take place and how much of an impact it will have on society and individuals. This transition may take time. So if you are prepared for it, you will be able to make the most out of it. One thing is for sure, change is coming. The future of work is uncertain and it's up to us whether we are ready for what the AI revolution will bring. But at present, there are a few things that seem certain. Robots don't need to sleep or take breaks, so they can work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, drastically improving productivity for companies. Because of this, AI will take over many jobs currently done by humans, which will lead to mass unemployment in many industries as more corporations adopt AI as their standard mode of increasing productivity and profits. When robots replace workers, they won't be taking over just one job but rather an entire range of different types of tasks and skills. All of this is scary for employees, as you may come into the office or workplace one day to discover you have been displaced or let go because the robot can do your job better, faster, and at a lower cost. If we know the revolution is coming, that leaves us with only one question. How will you prepare for the coming AI revolution in the workplace?